Today, I will be showing you how to paint Star Wars Armada minis. I will be painting a CR90 Corvette. To start off, you're going to need a bowl of water, something to put paint on, like a paper plate, wood board, or here I have an old devil's egg dish, water-soluble acrylic paint, good lighting, and some small paint brushes. If you don't have acrylic paint or small paint brushes, most, if not all, board game stores should have paints and brushes. There are also kits that you can get that will come with paint and paint brushes, like Learn to Paint Core Skills Kits by Reaper Miniatures. This kit also comes with three minis. I painted this mini just with the stuff from the kit. I painted this other mini after going to a board game store to get a few more paints and paint brushes. Before painting, make sure to have an idea in mind for what you like. It's also perfectly okay for your design to change over time while painting it. Star Wars Armada minis come out of the box ready to paint, too. I will be painting my CR90 entirely silver, and then putting around a green outline where the red was on the original. In the middle of painting, I decided to turn the engines to a nice blue. Depending on your paint, it might be best to mix the paint with some water very slightly. In the beginning, I put too much water in and had to entirely remix my paint. After finishing the silver base, I started to put on the green outline. After applying the green, I did some touch-ups and then added in the blue engines. You do not have to paint your whole mini like I did. But if you would like to, go right ahead. Painting minis does take a while. For this one, it took me about an hour to an hour and a half. And don't worry if it's not perfect the first time. Painting minis takes time and practice. And there you go, once you're finished painting your mini, you have a cool new ship to put on the battlefield. 